Ben Johnson. A little bit of context. We are meeting Gertrude as she awaits the arrival of her betrothed, a knight who is not everything that he seems. Please enjoy the show. Thank you. Married, the abyss to keep me modest. Now I am to be a lady. 
Boldness is good fashion and court-like. I am a country lady, as I soon shall be. And how chance she came no sooner nigh. Faith, I was so entertained in the progress by Lord Watcham that we had a match at Balloon too with my Count Eponym for four crowns. At Baboon! Jesu, you and I will play at Baboon in the country night. <laughs> my sweet lady, tis a strong play with the arm. Oh, with arm or, or leg or any other member. I'm going to be a court spot. And we shall be marry my knight. I come now to consummate it so that your father may call a poor knight. Son-in-law. Sir, sir, ye are come. <laughs> uh, what is not mine to keep, I cannot be sorry to forego. One hundred pounds land, her grandmother left her, is yours. Ah. Uh, herself, as a mother's gift, is yours. <laughs> but if you expect aught from me, know that my hand and mine eyes open together. I do not give blindly. Work upon that now. Oh. Sir, you mistrust not my means. I am a knight. Sir, 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 what I do not know, you must give me leave to say. I am ignorant of. <laughs> yes, that he is a knight. I know only really have the money to pay the gentlemen ushers and heralds their fees. I, that he is a knight. And so might you be too, in all tales but as ours. <laughs> Goldie, 
you my daughter there? She's not fair, well favoured or so, uh, <laughs> indifferent, which modest measure of beauty shall not make it your only work uh, uh, to watch her, nor sufficient mischance to mistrust her. Thou art cordly, she is modest. Thou art provident, she is careful. She is mine now. <coughs> Give me thy hat. She is now God. <laughs> Work upon that. Okay. Uh, sir, as your son, I honor you. As your servant, obey you. <laughs> Sayest thou so? <laughs> See yon fellow? He is a gentleman, though, my princess, and has somewhat to take, too. <laughs> Are you mine? You are now his. Work you <laughs> upon that now. Sir, I am all yours. <laughs> <laughs> your, your body gave me life, your care and love, happiness of life, let your virtue still direct it. I brought to your wisdom, my holding. Sayest thou so? Come, come, you two should be better acquainted! <laughs> Lip her. <laughs> Lip her, knave! <coughs> so! <laughs> Shut up, shop. In. Yeah. <laughs> we must make holiday. <laughs> this match shall on, for I intend to prove which thrives the best, the mean or lofty love, whether wedlock twixt uh, like and like, or <laughs> prouder hopes which daringly all strike their reach and purpose. Tis honest time's expense, when seeming lightness bears a moral sense. Work upon that now. <laughs> performance of the day. That's right, not Shakespeare's play, but Ben Johnson's play, Eastward Ho. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are playing along with the Street Spear game, all you must need to do is take your card uh, to Catherine there, and she shall stamp it, and you are well on your way to being registered to win a fabulous prize. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not know what this Street Spear game is, you merely go to customer service, pick up a card, you attend the performances, you get a stamp each time you see one, when you fill it, turn it into customer service, or a chance to win a fabulous prize. Now we're going to make it easy on you today, and today only, unless you come back tomorrow or next weekend. Uh, we're now coming up on this stage exactly now, will be the second Street Spear performance of the day. Yay! William Shakespeare's The Merry Wives of Windsor. It's all sorts of fun. It's a 10 minute scene. Please enjoy, and enjoy the rest of your day at the festival. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.